So this morning we've got Floyd licking his catnip treat. And we have Jixing. Say hello guys. I am shaved, I am waxed, <laughs> vaxxed, and fucking ready to go. And I did a ton of laundry, so let me show you all the laundry that I did. That's clean, that's clean. I emptied garbages yesterday. That's gotta go in the wash. I cleaned out the washer yesterday. So after breakfast, we're gonna put away a lot of laundry. Welcome to Laundry Mountain. So I have discovered that as it turns out you need to change the battery in your key fob and i'm pretty sure that's why it was like oh you don't have keys in the car it's anti-theft blah 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 so i ordered some they're gonna be here sunday um i don't know <laughs> if that's enough if that's like quick enough because i started it today and like now it won't lock and unlock with that so i might have to go and get it Taylor and I are meeting for pedicures. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure I'll be around somewhere that'll have batteries. You guys, I feel like I was very responsible with my financial decisions today. Okay? <laughs> got the pedicure. My feet look really good. I got some Opa for lunch. And then I only bought one sweater. And we went to like a bunch of places. Finances, my guy. Oh, they didn't plow this road yet and you can tell from the way that people are swerving yeah so good day gonna go home and snuggle with Jack and with Floyd and we are going to move over the laundry <laughs> maybe I won't wash the sheets today because to be honest I don't really feel like it anymore and I got the battery for my key fob so I literally went in to just uh, go Mazda and I was like, can you do it? And they're like 12 bucks. And that's what I paid for batteries anyways from Amazon. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just keep the batteries for the next time I need them. Or should I return them? Do batteries go bad if they're not in use? Okay, with fancy coffee machines comes fancy coffee machines problems. This was flashing orange and I tried to troubleshoot it for like 20 minutes. I don't know what I did differently but now it's descaling or something. If this doesn't work, I'm literally returning it and just getting a new one. Like, <laughs> this is so annoying. I literally had to take the pot out of there, cut it and put it in one of my reusable Keurig ones. And that is how I got my coffee today. <laughs> how are you feeling, Jackson? See, so, yeah, I'm very shaky. Um, I'm basically nude and I don't like it. I know you were all very concerned. I did get it to work. It just needed to descale, I guess, so. Just took me 20 minutes to figure out how to fucking do that. But like, here's the difference, okay? They're both Nespresso pods. This is what the one that I cut up and put into my Keurig came out like. And this is the one that came in the Nespresso. It's just better. Wow. Okay. That's worse than I thought. Here are some things that I have learned since becoming a coffee snob like seven days ago. Um, Nespresso pods are copyrighted like to the high heavens. So you can't really... <laughs> get knockoff versions like you can cheap for Keurig. Still much cheaper than like Starbucks or going out, but it's like a dollar a pod in most cases. So, but like, look at how good it looks. So I think it's gonna be worth the extra expense. Okay, so this is the eye makeup that I did. I think it'll be pretty once I do the rest of my face, but anytime I'm like getting ready over the course of a couple hours, I just do my face makeup like 10 minutes before I have to leave because otherwise I look like an oily, oily mess. The before. Let's see if it looks good with extensions. And after, I actually think they blended pretty well. So I'm excited. I literally have like two long pieces in the back and then just like one um, clip in on either side. And I think it looks natural and like not too heavy. Okay, here is the fit. I think it looks pretty cute. I'll actually, I'll actually show you in the mirror. <laughs> this is, as I just texted Taylor, my I swear I'm not gonna spill on myself tonight outfit. <sighs> and I really hope I can live up to that promise. But anyways, I did my little nubs. They're so short. And I've still got two fucking hours to kill. So I'm very nearly ready to go and finally do my face makeup because um, 
we're like an hour out from heading out um and i'm pre-drinking because i'm ubering there and then cooper is picking me up i've literally never taken an uber in my own hometown never done it i'm also going to put some food in my stomach and go downstairs i got these cute little glasses off of fat fit fun okay we are done i think it looks cute this isn't the sweater i was starting to sweat <laughs> So I took it off and put on a different sweater until I'm ready to go. I'm going to have one of these little guys. I'm going to leave in like, I don't know, 40 minutes. All right, I am all ready. I don't know if I'm going to actually wear my glasses, but I felt like I needed them. Waiting for my Uber. It's like two minutes away. So this is my current favorite wine. Tread softly. It's so good.